And we are back in Pertle Town Road to 300. We're gonna have to make a little bit of a, uh, an adjustment to our removal jobs. Because uh, I think the best uh, thing to do is to go grab these resources up here. I think this is the closest anything is. So let's cancel removal all on all over the map. And also let's uh, have a quick look at how much space we've got left for our expansion. Let's go grab all this stone up here. So let's get, get uh, that and uh, also all this iron here. Prioritize that and we should see our people are uh, getting that. Right, so I've done the unthinkable. <laughs> I've done something that you shouldn't do. I went ahead and uh, compared my little Pearl Town to some of the towns people uh, make on other YouTube series. And that's the thing about Banish, I'm gonna say something really controversial here. I think people have a little bit of a problem with this game, uh, a big criticism. Is that it's, well, not deep enough, maybe not, uh, not in-depth enough. Uh, because they compare the game to games like, I don't know, SimCity, maybe, Anno, uh, maybe not Anno, Anno is actually quite uh, quite similar to Banished, or other way, Banished is to Anno, but it does strike me that people make the... people make the Banished villages I think too, they make them too uh, efficient, maybe. Just uh, all these districts of just houses going back to back, one to another, and just... I don't know, it's, uh, I really can't play the game. I do like, I do enjoy how my Pearl Town here looks. It starts to look like something you know, taken out of a... Uh, Japanese RPG. This is like I, I would like I would like to move to go into this uh, boarding house like myself if I was playing this game. I'd like to move in, look around, see see what can you what can you uh, whom can you uh, meet there and I don't know. It's just I know that this series is going. A little bit uh, slower than some of the uh, faster series, because I'm not uh, I'm not focusing on that quick of an expansion or that quick of a uh, efficient building of pastures and stuff like that. But I don't know. I guess I'm saying that people are playing the game wrong. Maybe not not exactly. I think I'm saying that uh, some of the some of the criticism that Banish gets is due to people not playing it like a, like a really small town simulator, I guess. People are playing Banished in this view rather than this view and... I don't know, for example, this, this little corner here, um, I feel quite accustomed right now. It really gives me this kind of a warm feeling that's why I uh, that's why I keep I intend to keep uh, this tree growing between those houses these trees behind them I would really like to to keep that I don't know <laughs> maybe it's just the way I'm I'm personally playing uh, playing the game So let's go back. I think we 
do we even have any people working here? Not even. Please increase the priority on that. I don't think that uh, we can prioritize it any further. But it does seem like we are... Yeah, we are, we are done with putting resources to this bank barn. And it's getting built, so... I think we are on a... Uh, I think we are in a good spot. Let's see, we are at 40... Uh, 51. So, 249 to go. But... Let's see, uh, so... 51, so then we're gonna ha need 5,100 food surplus. We are well above four times that, so it's fantastic. I think I I can keep most of those laborers working. Yeah, and that harvest, uh, maybe not harvest, but that mining of this surface iron is gonna give me gonna give me the iron needed for my little quarry back there. Okay, so this is Kalinet again, bringing us ale, but we do not need ale. Although I am gonna make a brewery, I forgot where I put my first brewery and whether I actually did put it anywhere. So what I'll do is put it back in here. Okay. Looks like we've run out of bricks, or out of clay to make bricks. So let's uh, go back to making charcoal in this uh, brickworks facility here. Could also make a distillery here. It would look quite nice with this high this high, my, high <laughs> tall building here and that could actually be a little bit better grains other organics are right and maybe let's look uh, at the oil press maybe we could squeeze in an oil press here not really right a brewery may go here Sure, let's plan it here. Let's pause it. Like for example, I really like the uh, the view from here. There's these two taller buildings overlooking the, the town square. Really like that. Right. Bank barn is also getting built very nicely there. Gives me gives me a good feeling. And now we've run out of Beast walks, and that's that is nice. That means we can make the Chandler not work there. And maybe let's put one person here in a shore house. So one shore house is gonna dig clay, and the other one is gonna dig sand, and that is perfect. Glassworks is slated for production here, or for construction. So the grain silo should be somewhere here. Between the... Between the baker and the miller. And I think here should be place an okay place uh, from a uh, from a aesthetic standpoint. It's gonna be it's gonna be like two towers going into the forest, like maybe making something something of a wall here. Glassworks. I would like some glassworks as well, although that takes stone. Yeah. So we should we should focus on. This quarry here. 
Oh, people are quite stubborn. Not building it. But oh well. I guess everything in time. And now this pasture here. I remember what I wanted to do. I wanted to make a llama butcher near this pasture. Mm, yep. Let's put it here. And I also wanted a storage, a meat locker on the other side here to be able to quickly and efficiently turn these llamas into fresh nice meat as we are producing khaki I guess that's how you call meat made out of llamas today I learned <laughs> right let's speed this up let's observe the construction of the bank barn and be ready to Get rid of this. Uh, get rid of this storage barn. Once that bank barn is uh, is constructed, let's go make two builders. I misclicked, and unfortunately, that cancelled the building of this uh, this barn. And as I get more laborers, I will put them to work as miners because I do need. A sustainable trickle of iron into our into our city. That is quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of kids getting born and graduating school. Maybe I should start evicting some of these uh, single single people here. Let's try and do that. Who's also single this one here. And let's cancel that. And see if a family moves in. There we go. So we got two families moving in here. And also a family here. So this is a little bit of a uh, and these people are gonna die soon enough, so I'm not gonna move them out. Just how you can spur growth just a little bit without committing to another house. Very nice. Let's actually take a look at where. Very nice. Uh, at where. The people working here live at. So it looks like most of them live in the town center. Indeed, the, only these uh, people working in this on the shore here have quite a lot of. Uh, Quite a long road to the works, so I could squeeze in a tiny shack for a for a trader to live in here. Maybe if it fit here, but I think a whole no, a whole house will not fit here. And a tiny shack would uh, mean that we could not build a road to the right side here. So oh well, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna have to forgo that idea. Although I do want that uh, resource depot back here. Let's put it back in. Let's pause it. Let's plan a stone house as it was planned planned here well several years back. Let's see if I can squeeze yeah there's a tiny shack we could build here or even two nope I don't think so. So just one and the full house will not 
squeeze in there. So let's try that. Let's put a tiny shack here. Pause it as well. And that's gonna be our port district. I guess they are still in the big central market radius. Not really. They're gonna be in this market radius. And that is all right. Very nice. The work on this bank barn is almost done. And here we go. We can now safely remove this barn and enjoy our additional space in this village up north. Oh, in this district, actually. Up north. Let's also increase the priority on that quarry, as something consumed most of our iron, and I don't know what's up with that. What is getting built? 15. 15 people are needed. Well, I guess, okay. The meat locker takes quite a lot of stone, as does the llama butcher. So I guess they went on to work on that. As I see some people coming here. Wait, oh well. Let's just see how is the stone collection job up north doing. Not very well. So let's spur a little bit of that. And I think we can speed all of this up. Got a whole lot of babies getting born. Whoa, 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 whoa. A whole lot of babies be getting born. So I'm gonna put some of these laborers. To work as gatherers and hunters. Just so I'm sure that we all... So we will get some more uh, food production. Okay, let's put this builder back to laborer and as a llama butcher. And let's make a lot of good stuff here. And the schoolhouse holds uh, 20 students, I think, and with these 15 kids running around, I think we are. There's enough schools for now. And I'm really happy to see... Oh, there we go. A whole another kid being born, so we're gonna have to ramp up the food production. Let's get some more builders. So we can finish up this meat locker, because it takes a whole lot of time for these people to go all the way to this bank barn to drop the, uh, the llama products. And we got a trader. Let's see what they have. Walks. Very good. So let's get all of this walks. Actually, not into here. Let's uh, let's just trade for it. Mm. Let's sell over all of our meat cuts. Let's sell, uh, yeah, and let's sell most of our bread for that. Let's trade, let's dismiss. Now we can put another guy back to work as a chandler and make them uh, give us 
as much uh, as many uh, candles as possible. I'm also gonna bump up the meat cuts amount to two and fifty. I think we can handle that. Let's see how much how many uh, meat cuts we got. So hundred here. I think we can do with all. Yeah, thirteen here. I think we're gonna do without any meat cuts in our reserves. These people are gonna die pretty soon. As is gonna uh, Laurentoni. Oh, as will these people here. So I think we can... We can just keep uh, the number of houses the same here. So where, where does that bring us uh, in terms of uh, the population? So 30, 40, blah, blah, 50, 47 and 50. We've got 56 people, if I'm uh, not mistaken, and these are uh, the amount of time that these equations uh, take me. <laughs> Is our call to have a to have the uh, town square or town hall built? Because that's gonna be that's gonna give me just a straight number. All the people working on this bank are closest, so herdsman, trader, and in this house the butcher. You're all very close to where our llamas are. And a meat locker is taking shape very nicely. As will our quarry, as we get the foundations laid in. Now only work of the builder is what's needed, which makes me really happy. And the Chandler is also working her ass off. Pamaliana is the name. And we get a very nice uh, number of candles being made. And they're all very smoothly put back in. Right into the uh, the, uh, the uh, trading post. And very nice, I think this meat locker here is gonna make it way easier for us to manage these uh, the pasture here. I might actually I will plan some houses around this market here. As we will have this is gonna be our quarry and pasture district. Let's take a look at the new laborers. We got three of them. I think I can put one of them to work somewhere. And let's see, does anything need more workers? Well, the gatherers are not maxed out, as isn't the forester's lodge here. So maybe let's put, let's put him as a forester and let's forget about... Let's forget about him or her. I know which uh, I don't know which one of Essay and Pearls became the forester, so either way. Right, and this is gonna be our just this is just gonna be the uh, outer wall of like houses around this rural market here, and then gonna house the quarry workers and the pastures. So and maybe some uh, additional foresters, hunters, etc. Back there behind the... Back there behind those hills. So let's build a mighty big pasture back here. 
And we're gonna move those llamas there eventually. I can actually go for doing that right now. As the uh, the number of llamas is three, we cannot split uh, the herd in the middle, we just have to move them there. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of micro with the, uh, the number of llamas we intend to keep. I'm gonna build a parish house here as well. Just to keep our people a little bit happier. Yeah, we'll be we'll fit here nicely. That would also look quite, quite decent. Let's see if some uh, yeah, houses will, some houses will fit here. I guess tiny houses and stuff like that. Maybe some quayside houses. So I'm quite optimistic about my uh, expansion down there. And I want to expand there because, well, we're gonna have a key, uh, a key, uh, a quarry workers moving in there quite soon. But first of all, I want to build up a good, good stockpile of stone. See? Somebody died here, and we have already a three three people family here. So population wise, I think I am in a spot when where I want to be, but well, not so much stone wise as usual. Let's give it a little bit of a spur. For our laborers. Let's take a look up there. See if anybody uh, anybody comes here to grab the stone. There is one person there and a child running around there. Yeah, oh, here I spotted another one. Let's hear if this if there is any work being done here. Doesn't seem to be the case, but we are getting more and more laborers, which is good. I wonder whether I should uh, get the central market up to speed. Either way, I want to destroy this storage barn here. Just to make place for well, some buildings here. Maybe some houses. Let's take a look at the merchant again. And also our quarry got built, so that's very nice. Okay, we got some uh, lobster, some eggs, and a little bit of tallow. Mm. Well, I think I could exchange some of our meat cuts for this lobster. What do you say if we do that? Alright, uh, my moving weighs 7 units, so let's do this. Let's get some of that lobster. Let's trade it and dismiss. Oh, actually, I should have looked at the orders we could place. Well, this lobster is gonna give us uh, a little bit of a variety in. There's going to be a little bit of a, a variety in what we produce. And maybe not produce, but just consume. Let's take a look at the demolishing of the storage barn. Oh, and I just saw that while we are ready to bump up the coats in the trading post again. And I think we have a good amount of wool. So we could try and make some wool coats. 
Let's make some wool coats. And get some of them. Uh, and try to hunt for some of them um, later. Bump up the limit to way, way high, 130. I'm gonna play around with that later. Right, let's see if an oil press will fit here. It won't. That's a bummer. <laughs> a windmill would fit here, but it would look quite stupid, I don't think. So the town center is a good place for... Uh, for a structure like that, and this is a large residence. It looks horrible, <laughs> so I'm not gonna go on with that. But that is a country house. There's an upgrade to stone house, so... Let's see, maybe I want to squeeze another town uh, abode here. And get some houses here. Not entirely sure. Let's see how many houses will squeeze in. Around this market. And actually let's see if we have anything else. Uh, an abbey is planned way back there. Up here near the graveyard. And let's see, we already have a bakery. Ah, and here we could have a preservist. Which would be a good thing if it wasn't better suited to be maybe around here. Or even around this uh, rural market back there, because it would be that much closer to the... to the trader, although we do not... I don't think I can... Uh... Oh, actually, I know what I'm gonna do. I think I know what I'm gonna do. What I'm gonna do is, as I uh, look around, watching if I haven't... which I haven't uh, missed anything, what I intend on doing here is actually getting a couple of houses. Hmm. Maybe something like this. And something like a tiny tiny shack back there. And here we're gonna have a, a small orchard. I'm gonna get the dense orchard right in the middle of the, of the uh, of a city of a town. And that's gonna look quite cozy, I think. Right, we seem to be a. Uh, we have a lot of new laborers. So, uh, let's bump up the stone limit way up high. And let's get two people to work at the quarry. Let's also uh, click up one, one additional uh, vendor here. I'm gonna do a little bit of eviction from these houses here. Just wait a little bit and then cancel that and see who moves in. Hopefully a new a new family. So uh, after this slump and a dip in population we are on the upswing and we're gonna see what happens next in Pertle Town in the next episode. Until then, see ya!